Nemesis, the B&M Inverted Coaster at Alton Towers is getting retracked, and that is going to change the ride forever. With every single piece of track and support from the top of the lift hill to the final brake run being replaced, the question is, will this ruin the ride? I'm here to answer that question from the perspective of someone who's ridden a retract B&M roller coaster. Welcome back to Thrillnet, bringing you everything for a related by the internet. I think the first and most important aspect of the ride to consider when answering this question is the ride experience itself. It's safe to say that Nemesis has been getting quite rough over the past couple of years, and the obvious reason for that is because it's getting quite old now. I mean, it's been operating at the resort for 28 years as of 2022. The retrack will almost certainly make the ride experience smoother. And that's definitely a good thing, especially because Nemesis's restraints are obviously quite hard. And when you're going through the inversions and being flung to the side, if you do bash your head on them, it does hurt quite a bit. I myself have ridden the Incredible Hulk coaster at Universal's Islands of Adventure in Orlando, Florida. And as much as that's a B&M sit-down roller coaster, it is another coaster that has received a B&M retract. And I can tell you now, it rides a lot smoother than Nemesis and is therefore much more enjoyable. On the other hand, some people have the concern that a Nemesis this retract will change the way the ride rides in terms of its intensity. However, it's quite evident from certain rides that have been retracked, such as the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, as much as that's not a B&M roller coaster, that this isn't true. The big one being an example of a roller coaster that I rode pre-retrack and post-retrack. This is because, generally speaking, roller coaster retracks, except for RMC conversions, and no, Nemesis is not getting RMC'd, only involve changing the profile of the track rather than the actual layout of the ride itself. With the purpose of simply smoothing things out to make things a little more comfortable for riders. Wait, they're not seriously complaining about the fact that it could affect the noise of the ride, are they? Oh my days. Yeah, as part of the retrack project, Alton Towers are going to be filling Nemesis's track with sand, and people are seriously concerned about the fact that it could affect the noise of the ride. Will it affect the sound of the ride? Yes. Will it ruin the sound of the ride? No. I can tell you that when you stood next to the Incredible Hulk, a roller coaster that's track is filled with sand, it's still very audible. For comparison, here is a clip of Nemesis followed by a clip of Hulk. So there you have it, a retract will not ruin Nemesis, and for more things for a related via the internet, be sure to click the icon at the bottom of your screen to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell, otherwise you won't be notified the next time I upload. I'm Ben, thank you so much for watching Thrillnet, and I'll see you next time.